They say there are a million stories in every big city. Well, these are the ones people forgot about. So we're here to answer one question. What are you living next to? Off the beaten path, not in any travel guide, hidden in the hood. This wouldn't have happened if not for this. I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. And that wouldn't have happened without something that went on here, half a world away, Baltimore, Maryland. Two epic royal love stories tied together by a fading piece of history, something that wound up hidden in the hood. Someone who once lived in this neighborhood was a member of the royal family. Like, as royalty is concerned, I wouldn't expect that from here. I had no idea. The young lady that went to Britain. Again, the name escapes me. Here we are on the 200th block of East Biddle Street, the home of Wallace Warfield, a little girl who grew up to become the infamous Mrs. Simpson, the very woman a king gave up his throne for. 212 East Biddle Street, amongst all these regular row houses, is the home of the woman who brought down a king. You want to go in and have a look? I'd love to. Scott, it's totally empty in here. That's right, it's been renovated several times. But you know, back during the abdication crisis in 36, the people who owned this house were actually giving tours of it. In fact, they were even getting people to sit in the bathtub for souvenir photographs. People in Baltimore don't have any clue who she was. Those are authentic, actual newspapers. Well, she was certainly known as a fashion icon of the 20th century, and this was a dress that she probably wore once. It was designed by Givenchy just for her. What, what, what is porcelain monkeys? It was considered funny, too. It was humorous. She had a tremendous sense of style, and she knew how to make herself look fabulous. I love it. Clothes. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know I'd be so close to uh, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Maryland Club. It was and is the bastion of male society right here in Baltimore. Do you know Wallace Warfield Simpson got in a lot of trouble here for dressing like a man? And she just wanted to crash the place. That's right. Didn't know that either. Oh. <laughs> you know, Tom, this church is very significant. It used to be called Christ Church, and this is the site of her first marriage, which ultimately meant also her first divorce. It was an Episcopal church and certainly the center of society, but not anymore. It, you'll notice it's changed with the neighborhood. That's amazing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Seriously, don't tell my landlord. I don't want him to raise the rent. <laughs> Join us as we find it hidden in the hood.